So in the comics, Tony Stark kicks the bucket and hangs around as a snazzy AI for a while. I reckon it's a safe bet that RDJ might just come back to voice Ironheart's AI. It's a lot easier on the wallet to have him cozy up in his slippers and record lines for a few hours than it is to film for a whole year. But here's the thing. Tony gets a fresh bod in the comics, but goes all bad guy on us. The Avengers then pull off some time travel shenanigans and snag a younger Tony to save the day. Now, this fixes a bunch of issues for the MCU. They can keep Iron Man around without bankrupting themselves paying RDJ. Plus, they score a new face for the young Avengers, stepping in for Kang as Iron Lad. And since this Tony's a bit younger, his tech won't be as crazy advanced as the Mark 85 suit, which means they dodge the whole too powerful headache. Pretty neat, huh? But what if Iron Man survived Endgame Snap? How phases 4 to 6 change? So imagine if Iron Man hadn't made that ultimate sacrifice to take down Thanos in Avengers Endgame. How do you reckon the next phases of the MCU would have played out? Thing is, if Iron Man had pulled through the snap, the whole multiverse saga would have taken a totally different turn. It's wild to think back to when Marvel first kicked off this shared universe back in 08. Casting Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark was a bit of a roll of the dice, but did it pay off? Iron Man basically became the face of the MCU, setting the stage for everything that followed right up to the big showdown in Endgame. In terms of themes, Avengers Endgame wrapped up Tony Stark's journey perfectly. He kicked off as this big shot, all about me kind of guy, but over time, he evolved into a true hero. Remember when Steve Rogers doubted Tony's willingness to make the ultimate sacrifice in the Avengers? He scoffed, saying Tony wasn't the type to lay down on the wire for others to crawl over. But Tony proved him dead wrong when he flew that nuke through a portal. And fast forward to Endgame, where he made the ultimate call to save everyone by sacrificing himself to take down Thanos. Doctor Strange had seen all these possible futures, and he swore up and down that this was the only way to stop Thanos for good. Interestingly, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness seemed to flip the script on this whole sacrifice for the greater good deal. In the movie, there were some pretty clear parallels to the climax of Avengers Endgame. Both times, Doctor Strange faced the tough choice of letting someone kick the bucket to save everyone else. But in Doctor Strange 2, he put his foot down and said, Nah, I'm not playing that game anymore. Now what if Doctor Strange had taken a different path and somehow Iron Man had lived. Let's dive into how the next phases of the MCU would have gone down if Tony Stark had dodged that final blow. It's pretty tough to wrap your head around how Iron Man could have made it out alive from that snap in Avengers Endgame. But get this, Marvel's What If Episode 9 gave us a little clue. Killmonger rocked this vibranium suit that could soak up the Infinity Stone's power. Now imagine if Doctor Strange had dropped a hint about vibranium back on Titan. Stark could have spent those five years between Infinity War and Endgame geeking out on Vibranium tech. With a Mark 85 suit made of Vibranium, he could have wielded the Infinity Stones without getting fried, securing his survival. So in this alternate MCU timeline, Tony Stark would have scored his own personal happily ever after. Remember those hints in Avengers Endgame that he was trying to hang up the Iron Man suit for good and settle down with Pepper and Morgan? Yeah, he'd probably keep trying to retire, but let's face it, trouble always seems to find him. But here's the thing. With all these superheroes coming back, Stark would likely see the perfect opportunity to reboot the Avengers initiative. This move would give Phase 4 of the MCU a solid backbone storyline-wise, with an active superhero squad keeping tabs on things worldwide. And you can bet they'd be itching to recruit new blood like Moon Knight and She-Hulk into the mix. Heck. They might even draft them under the Sokovia Accords, whether they wanted to join or not. If Iron Man had made it through Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man's story would have taken a sharp turn. See, in the main MCU timeline, Spidey's been living in Iron Man's shadow big time, deeply influenced by their bond. This led to him snagging some of Stark's coolest tech, which set off a wild chain reaction. It ended up with his secret identity getting blown wide open and in a classic case of chaos theory, nearly caused a massive mess across the multiverse. But in a world where Stark survived his snap, Spider-Man would have likely been seamlessly integrated into the Avengers crew. 
He'd still be using the Stark internship as cover for his school skipping superhero gig, no doubt. Even if Iron Man had made it out alive, Spider-Man could have still tangled with Mysterio. Like in the main timeline, Mysterio's beef with Stark could have driven him to target Spider-Man to get his hands on Stark's tech. But here's the kicker. Mysterio would have had to keep things low-key, since he wouldn't want to risk attracting too much attention and bringing other Avengers down on him. So, a less flashy, more street-level showdown in the heart of NYC. The stakes might not have been as sky-high, and we probably wouldn't have seen Spidey's secret identity plastered all over the news at the end. While we might not get a traditional Iron Man 4 with Tony Stark front and center, his story could easily have kept rolling in that direction. Funny enough, it seems like the next phase of the MCU is set to spin a tale that's practically Iron Man 4 without Tony Stark. Enter Armor Wars, a storyline where Iron Man hunts down his tech gone rogue all over the globe. In the MCU version, it looks like War Machine and Ironheart will be taking the spotlight. Ironheart's a genius who reverse-engineered Stark tech at MIT and is tight with Wakanda in the MCU. But here's the twist. Armor Wars would have been a perfect fit for Tony Stark himself. Imagine discovering your techs gone haywire and leaked out everywhere. That'd be enough to drag Iron Man out of retirement faster than you can say suit up. If Iron Man had made it through, you can bet he'd be front and center for the multiverse saga. After all, Stark cracked the code on time travel in Avengers Endgame, diving into the quantum realm to zip around in time. He'd definitely keep pushing the envelope digging deeper into the tech and uncovering all sorts of multiverse mysteries along the way. Just think about it. Stark teaming up with Doctor Strange and the Masters of the Mystic Arts, merging science and sorcery to unravel the secrets of the multiverse. With Iron Man on the scene, Earth's heroes would be way more prepped for the looming multiversal showdown with the likes of Kang the Conqueror. Tony Stark, saving the day across time and space. Well, that's it for today. We've explored some exciting what-if scenarios for the MCU, envisioning how things might have played out if Iron Man had survived Endgame Snap. Do you think Iron Man's presence would have significantly altered the course of the MCU's Phases 4-6? to six? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay tuned and keep imagining the possibilities.